When someone walks out, whether it's on a stage and they're walking out with a guitar or they're walking to a ring, your eye is saying yes, no, or maybe. On the first instant, you see this thing. He's like, oh, I just met a guy who used to do Jimi Hendrix stuff. You know what I mean? It's like, this is the big time. This is going to happen. You know, here's people coming in and saying embroider this Beatles album on the back of this. At the time of surgery, he was in Michael's clothes. There was a connection that Jimmy tuned into the clothes in the New York Minute. We're not going in a studio and making a new song that may or may not be really cool, but we're going into the cutting room and we're making patterns and we're trying this and trying that. Some things work, some things don't. He said in a letter, make anything you come across to your fancy as long as it's specially made as art. What he's saying to us is go for it. Flamboyant is a very good uh, word for his clothes. I'm trying to make a very high quality, the very best thing that I could. And I was a sucker, I wanted to look cool, man. That's what I, I took all my money and gave it to him. And then when I walk up on this thing, this dress, this style, I said, oh boy, look at him. And I looked at him. It really was shocked me and surprised me the type of clothes he was making because I'd never seen anything like it in my life. There was something of the wheel of dealer about it. It wasn't going to matter that there was a rule here and a rule here and a rule here. He just didn't see them. It was a whole new revolution of clothing. And I knew it would never be the same again. God, I missed this.